Holmes Worm Hat. In this video, I'm going to talk about T testosterone, TRT testosterone replacement therapy, HRT hormone replacement therapy, HGH is another big one that people abuse these days. And it's just a big thing that happens all around you. All sorts of people around you use these things. They just don't talk about it. Why would somebody just walk up to you and say, oh, did you know that I... I take testosterone. Why would anybody say that to you? And on the on the female flip side of things, nowadays birth control is just this cover for what birth control is hormone therapy. So they're the same thing. And but I'm going to focus on testosterone. It's just way more powerful. The truth is is that popping estrogen pills, it doesn't really do that much. It's mostly pointless. But testosterone, it's magic. It's alchemy. It really is magic. It, it's the idea behind alchemy. Testosterone, transforming yourself. It really does transform you. And look at this. That's not normal. And it doesn't look right. Look, look how... So there's side effects. That's what this video is going to be about. At the very end of the video, I'm going to show you the signs of somebody who's abusing hormones. One of them is losing your hair, alopecia. Very common. People lose their eyelashes. See how this, they have no eyelashes and just totally bald. That's not normal. The media has normalized being bald because they always push the, they have to push that image as, as being desirable. They make articles all the time. Oh, bald, bald people are sexy. Bald people are smart. And being bald means that you abuse hormones. That's what being bald means. It means your hormones are all out of whack. Somebody left a comment once that that made a lot of sense to me. Being bald, it's a sign of you're sick. If if your hair starts falling out, that means something's wrong with you. It means you're sick. If a human is really healthy, they have nice, healthy hair. I mean, that's just just think about that. How nice your hair is, it really is a sign of health. If somebody's getting really sick and malnourished, their hair, you can see it in their hair that they look unhealthy. And being bald, it's shameful. And it used to be shameful. There's this really interesting part in the Old Testament where children make fun of a bald person. And then the Bible claims that God sends out a bear from the woods to maul the children or something. And I think that's just an interesting example because it goes to show you that you can't just take everything from the Bible at face value. And people talk about how the the God of the Old Testament is actually Satan. And instances like that, I mean, yeah, what what is up with this bald person calling a, a bear out of the woods to maul children? That doesn't sound like something that Jesus would do. So instances like that, I just think it's like, maybe some of these people in the Old Testament that they claim were following God, maybe they were actually following idols. The, somebody who claims to call upon God to call a bear out of the woods to maul children because they called him a baldy, that doesn't sound like somebody who's following Jesus. So anyways, it's just an interesting thing from the Old Testament involving baldness. It should be shameful. Being bald, it's shameful, and it means that you're not healthy. What happens when people go through chemo? Their hair falls out. It's not healthy, and the media, look at these angled up collarbones, female. But a lot of people know about this stuff. It's just not things that people talk about in their day-to-day -day lives. Okay, so just a few historical instances. It's, you know how everybody back in the day used to wear wigs, at least the the well-to-do people, they wore wigs because they abused hormones and their hair fell out. Think of Georgia Washington with those rosy red cheeks but no hair. And it's because they abused tea. Their hair fell off. That's probably what the whole tea party thing is about. Boston Tea Party. They're, it's just a big meme in the media and royalty, drinking tea, tea parties. And tea stands for testosterone. And... Yeah, the wig, the the wigs, isn't that what Washington was supposed to be part of the wig party? And it's just a tea joke. These They're jokesters. They just like to make jokes like that. Okay, so it's a thing that people know about. It's just they, they won't tell you that 
oh yeah, these are side effects of abusing hormones. And it's just a, a secret that people keep. I, I liken it to, I mean, it's directly related to this, hair pieces. That doofy haircut, you know that hair that everybody has, it's like the thickest beaver pelt that you've ever seen stuck right on top of the hat on the head and then they shave everything else that haircut is just a hair piece and they're extremely common uh, men's hair programs are extremely common and you just don't know about it because they don't advertise it needs to be discreet these things they they work off being discreet if it defeats the purpose for these companies to go out and advertise, oh, come get your fake hair, come get your fake hair. It just goes through word of mouth and people looking this stuff up. But anyways, fake hair is really, really common. It's very good looking, very high quality. All you have to do, I just suggest go look up YouTube videos of quote unquote men getting a hair piece put on. If you've never looked that up, just go look it up, how common it is, how realistic looking it is, and you'll see they all have that same doofy haircut where it's a really thick tuft of hair right on top of their head, and then they usually shave down the sides these days. Uh, okay, so let's read some comments, and then again, at the end of the video, I'm going to be going over signs of people that abuse hormones. He's on testosterone replacement therapy at minimum. I'm bet betting some other pharmaceuticals are at work here too. These people, they think of themselves as alchemists, magicians, potions, or pills, and pharmaceuticals. Shouldn't everyone his age be on it? Good for him. What's he going to do? Kill him? Fisticuffs. 32 going on 33. Some folks even younger. My doctor placed me on it at 37. My Rex dad, I forget how the context got brought up, but I brought up people taking testosterone and my rex dad just blurts out like oh like the kind you put under your arms and yeah that is a really common way that that people take testosterone it's like an underarm cream and it's really disgusting because a lot of these people have really poor hygiene and you're supposed to be very careful to wash your hands off but they'll slather that stuff all over themselves probably and double it up triple it up because that's what they want to do. They want to get manly. And then they probably don't wash their hands correctly. And then they're going and touching surfaces everywhere. And it is a real threat. I mean, if they have young, young children, just think about what that does when these people, they have their underarm testosterone therapy and they don't wash their hands correctly and they're touching doorknobs. And then their, their daughter starts touching those doorknobs. You say it like it's a bad thing. Men need testosterone for everything to function properly. So many people have low T. Erectile dysfunction is such a huge thing because they're free martins and their T levels are really low. So it just... I mean, natural men probably have the same thing where their T levels drop, but it's just not as drastic. And so they don't get the same issues. And I mean, free martins have these problems in their 20s. And what's up with that? Why, why are there these 20 year olds that have all these low hormone problems and it's just rampant intersex conditions? Men should check their T levels as early as their mid twenties. Why? What? How does that make any sense? Think of all the, the women out there that claim to have PCOS, all the people that claim to have thyroid issues. Hint, they're telling you that hormone, people with hormone deficiencies are it's really, really, really common. This world is so screwed up that if somebody is just like normal and doesn't have a bunch of things wrong with them, that today is really rare. Just because if you pick your average person, they're on all sorts of pharmaceuticals, they have all these problems, their hormones are all whack, they're obese. Why is life like this? And when you can see the inversion, it makes more sense. What drug do you take to reduce body fat? Free Martins are, are chunky, and they have a subcutaneous fat layer, just because they're women. And these people come out of the woodwork knowing, <laughs> oh, this one, this one, this one, to name but a few. A lot of these people, they're obsessed with taking a bunch of pills. My family's like this. I mean, just my Rexdad in particular takes like a huge handful of vitamins each day. I mean, just look at the word, Vita, Min. 
And who knows how they make those things? I mean, they have to get that from somewhere. What are the weird alchemical processes that happen before it turns into a pill? And what kind of source material are they using to make those things? But that's just one thing that you'll notice. A lot of a lot of these intersex people, inverts, orange 33 people, whatever, they're obsessed with looking into ways to naturally raise your testosterone level. They might eat like a whole onion every day because they read an article that says it raises your testosterone level. They might have a medicine cabinet full of 30 plus different, you know, dried different herbs, weird oils, who knows? I mean, they're, they're just into all that stuff because they're obsessed with passing and they're obsessed with, it's just, you can tell when one of them, when they're awake, they start to act different because they know that they're deficient. And so that they go over the top with trying to, trying to do that stuff. If you're just a natural man, you're not going to go out of your way. Oh, I got to raise my T levels. I got to raise my T levels. So when you see these people that are obsessed with that stuff, it's because they know the truth. They know what they are and they're trying to fix something. Anyways. Okay. So kind of an interlude, just a mini break, just cause this was a great, a great comment where people were calling out BS. My friend in high school, no, looked like a well chiseled, chiseled bodybuilder, blah, 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 blah. Uh, daily. I saw his daily schedule. This, 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 this. He consumed about 33 to 34 calories a day. Once I saw, and then look, people calling it out. Oh, oh wait, not yet. <laughs> uh, oh, so somebody, somebody saying, oh, sounds like a good lifestyle for that age. And then, so this is the person that made the original comment. He's put on 150 pounds, works as a truck driver, and has a wife and two kids. I've talked to him. He regrets how much he put into fitness and said he'd wish he'd enjoy high school more. People are calling this out for BS. It's clearly a made-up story, mate. Don't believe anything, especially not something that smells like BS like the story. So here is a great catching BS tactic. How did this person get all those details? When things are too detailed, I often think of Jack the Ripper. If you go start studying about Jack the Ripper, there are so many details about Jack the Ripper. It's just insane. How, how can we have so many details from an event way back when, when in 2020, if something really happens, the details are all over the place. They don't make any sense. And it's really hard to get any good information. And that's today. So how can we look back at something like Jack the Ripper and it's just full of details like this? Do you see the issue here? Somebody's trying to think back on high school and you want me to believe that they remember down to 15 minutes this person's schedule? That's how you know it's a BS story. I just thought this was hilarious. Uh, you remember another student's schedule from decades ago? Crazy memory. You peeps can't remember what you ate two days ago, and you think someone remembers a fully detailed daily routine of someone else without making it up just to feel better? So here, I just thought this was a great psychological analysis. If you scroll through the history of the user, you can clearly get the picture that he is overweight and trying to lean down. Good thing, and just can just applaud everyone for that. And thus informed himself about fitness lifestyle and other routines, but got overwhelmed by it. Hence, he now tries to catch sympathy for his narrative of it being too hard for all people. Hence, he doesn't have to feel bad about himself for not applying such an insane and entirely wrong daily routine or to be more precise, a remotely close one to it. It's a coping mechanism and quite the typical one. But what should ring your bells is, oh, is as if somebody would remember such detailed information of someone years ago. It's more likely he read about fitness industry recently as he started to want to lose weight, picked up on such BS concepts lying around, and now just wants to feel better about not entirely being able to apply those. Okay, I mean, what he's trying to say here is the person who wrote that detailed thing, it's just a fatty who wants to feel good. They, they want to paint the picture of, oh, being an insane workaholic sucks and you're just going to gain 150 pounds later anyways and become a truck driver. I just thought it was an interesting psychological analysis of why would somebody BS something like this? I mean, people ask me all the time, why would people make up this lie? Somebody went through the time to write up this whole huge BS thing. And this is like 90% of what Reddit is, is BS like this. You're surrounded by it. <laughs> and 
anyways, I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, I'll kind of flip through these ones really fast now because I've already said a lot. In order to look like that, you need TRT, testosterone replacement therapy. TRT is dirt cheap. In developed countries, insur insurance covers it. A lot of people knew that this person was on steroids, and it's really obvious when you know the signs. I mean, it's just that people people are just very naive. People are very gullible. People look at a shredded grandpa with no hair, and they think it's believable because they've seen it on the TV a few times. Or I mean, just at this point, people just believe anything, unless you know about this stuff. And I just wanted to show how many people know about this stuff. Look how many people do know about this stuff. Very interesting. There's a connection between TRT and prostate cancer. You know how common prostate cancer is these days? People's prostate's swelling up. It's uh, probably because they're abusing testosterone. Yeah, people people abuse it and they just lie. People who look totally ripped like that and they say that they don't take any hormones, they're just liars. I personally know three men this age who look like this without steroids. Two of them are ex-military. Military people abuse steroids like crazy. And the other one is just an a-hole who doesn't have anything better to do than work out. Well, if somebody's just an a-hole, why do you think they're telling you the truth when they say, oh no, I don't do steroids? You should ask them about their routine and supplements. I'm on steroids, so is this guy, and probably so is that Czech guy. The thing about illegal, illegal activities is that everyone lies about it. Using steroids isn't illegal. Well, I mean, people buy this stuff off the black market all the time. I mean, it's honestly a thing that a lot of... I mean, they're in a secret society already. If they're in the Orange 33 Club, they love to do stuff like buy... They love buying drugs off, yeah, the, what do you call it, dark net. And I'm sure they buy steroids off that too. Grandpa on dat sauce. I agree, sauce is on the menu. Juicy Lee, 777. Picogram of sauce. That's more than just test, he's on HGH. Source, I've been on TRT for almost 10 years now. It's called gear. Yeah, they call it gear. In this thread, many people indulging in their own ego and opinions because movies taught them stuff like this is possible naturally. Yeah, it's not. Most people, I've practically been in fights with people over whether NFL players use steroids. Most people are in denial. Yeah, they all abuse. So this is just a funny joke. You know how, you know how for sports, they all go and get drug tested. That's where they're getting injected with stuff. That's where drug testing is probably where they're testing all these new, most high tech steroids on them. It's a truth in plain sight and they're mocking drug testing. Sure. They're testing the new drugs on them. Uh, pretty much everyone in the NFL is juicing in one way or the other one. Yep. They start using hormones in high school. They start using hormones in middle school. You know those middle schoolers that start getting a beard? <laughs> yeah, that's a big-time Masonic family injecting their middle schooler with tea. The vast majority are convinced that hormones just barely help, when in reality they're magic. Yep, it's alchemy. And that's just tea. Estrogen doesn't really help. Not that helpful. Your grandpa takes roids, HGH, and then they were blaspheming. So this is the part I'm going to go over. The signs of hormone abuse, just baldness. You don't go completely bald like this without abusing hormones. And notice how they have double chins. That's a female trait. Men don't have double chins like that, especially not if they're ripped. They're not going to have double chins. So the 
the biggest thing that you see all the time, bald. They go bald, and just a lot of them get fake hair. Another thing, so there's not many that signs of tea abuse besides it masculinizes them. I'm not going to talk about those things. Like, obviously, taking tea, it's going to masculinize you. Give a little bit of a brow bone, lower your body fat percentage. You're going to tack on muscle without even having to do much, really. But in this video, I want to talk about the the adverse effects of testosterone, the things that they don't want to go bald, but they're just going to go bald. And another one is they get darkness. It's like a dark greasiness around the eyes. Do you see that? Abusing testosterone gives them these dark, greasy circles around the eyes. I remember seeing a lot of boys in high school that they looked like this. They had, I remember, like, you look sick. I remember some of them, like, you look really sick. Like, you need to be in the hospital because their eyes got so dark. It's because they were pumping tea. So they go hairless. They go bald. Look at the one eye symbol this one throw in. Yeah, it's a girl on T in HGH. It really is. That's why they go bald. That's why their head is so small for their body. And why their bones are so small for their body. It's really just, it's all for show. It's like a peacock. It's just all for show. Their, their muscles even look more big, more comically big, because it's stuffed onto a smaller female frame. FTM bodybuilders. I mean, this one on the right could be like a swire returning to male thing. But look at what T can do. Back to the eyes. You see what I'm talking about? The greasy. The eyes are the gateway to the soul. Or the window to the soul. And uh, look at it. They look evil. They look sick. They get dark, greasy eyes. And the eyes are wonky. So that's just another one. People who have imbalanced hormones, so this doesn't necessarily mean that you're abusing hormones or you're an invert, because if you're a natural person who has a hormone problem, it can make your eyes wonky. So that just, it goes to show you that people who abuse hormones, their eyes can get very wonky like this. Having a wonky eye, it's very possible, very likely even, that you're abusing Reminds me of Picasso. I say it has a face like a P Picasso painting. <laughs> Look at these eyes. That's disgusting. I guess another thing to point out is the eye color. This eye color that Jim, Jim has, it's like blue, brown, and green all at the same time. Doing the hormones can make their eye, eye color change. And... It makes it this multicolored thing. From from what I've seen, it'll take, if you have lighter colored eyes, it starts to give you specks of darker color in your eyes. But it's just a, this is a type of eye color that you see a lot with hormone abusers. Steroids. Nothing in the pants. Jim Carrey has a vagina. So discolored hands. In this picture, you can't really see it that well, but it, this this picture probably has had post-production on it. And it's really hard to see the discolored hands on the MTF most of the time. I think just because a lot of them don't even abuse estrogen that much because they know it doesn't do that much. But sometimes you'll see on the MTF white hands. But on the FTM, you're much more likely to see white hands. And that's why they wear so much jewelry. Men don't want to wear jewelry. Men don't want to wear five bracelets how often have you seen these ftm they wear like five bracelets on each on each wrist and it's because it hides their discolored hands and yeah something about wearing bracelets it, it breaks up the hand a little bit it makes it harder to see how discolored it is but over here on the right you the on the right side of the image you can see the female digit ratio look at all the bracelets and watches men don't want to wear all that all those accessories. FTM love to accessorize because they're women. Are you kidding me? See, two necklaces. 
two, like five bracelets, and they love wearing Kabbalah bracelets too. Always be on the lookout for a red Kabbalah string. They they wear them so frequently. But look at this one on the on the right over here. Look at the hands. Look how discolored those are. So a big sign of tea abuse: discolored hands. They're not going to tell you that they abuse hormones. They'll always sell you their workout routine. Oh, the, the workout routine of this person to get crazy shredded. Oh, here's the workout routine. Here's what here's what Chris Hemsworth ate every day to get shredded for this movie. But they're not going to say, yeah, they abused testosterone. They abused HGH. Lance Armstrong, they give you weird stories about how they have one ball. <laughs> I think that is a really, really common thing, too, for Free Martins to be born with only one testy. And it gives them an excuse to be on T for their whole life. But look at those white hands. That's it for this video. God bless everyone.